Hey guys, some of you may remember I started this classic mod, uh, which I called it classic mod, but it was a while ago I started it, probably a month or two, I don't know, but there was some feedback it was before we changed up the, the way we had the channels and stuff. And everyone that shared some feedback on what year team they wanted to see, I put the, together this list here. Um, I was able to finish it. This is really based off of a, a roster from the old NFL 2K5 roster site, um, which was greatest players of all time. And it was created by Warpath, so I'm not I'm not familiar with who that was from the community, but I definitely appreciate the work that was done. Um, so I took that as the base file because it had a lot of really good players already in there. And then I also used um, rosters from other contributors who had contributed older teams uh, over the years to that roster site, which is unfortunately no longer around. So I put it all together. It took a long time, but I got the roster file set and working, um, which is going to be for the PS2. It's going to be the max format only right now. I'll put links in the description. You head over to the repo, you're going to scroll down. And under available GME mods, you're going to see it'll be classic mod here. You just click download. There'll be a video. This one will be up there for you to watch if you want to. After you download it, go ahead and extract it. And then in here, you're going to have the readme, which is going to take you through the steps to do it. There's a PDF I put in here, which I thought was kind of cool because it's a little visual uh, on what you want to do here. And it also includes a clip of all the team years um, that were specific for those for those teams so open up your nfl 2k23 installation directory and then you can move or copy your mods this folder right into the main directory i'll just copy mine and that's that now you're going to want to grab and open everyone that's doing this should already have my mc just open up my mc open up the memory card that you're using i already have it on here but i'll ditch it and what you'll do is you'll come back here to the roster directory and you can just copy this here from the address. Go back to my MC. You're going to say import. Paste that directory. I'm already there. Uh, select that roster. Import it to your card. You'll see it's their classic. Close out of there. Close out of there. All right. And then open up your GME utility. I'm just going to type C. So you'll see here it's classic themes. Go ahead and load that package. And then fire up your game. And once you start it, you'll see the cover change so you know that the mod's loaded, the classic mod. Uh, let's go ahead and fast boot this and get into it. And I created a custom splash screen too. And in here's all the credit to everyone who contributed rosters to the 2K5 roster site that's, um, you know, that's down unfortunately. But everyone that contributed, some of their roster files I used as part of building this, this file for this, uh, for this mod. So really big credit to everyone over the years who contributed. Uh, big thank you to everyone. So we're going to just go into load. And we're going to go to our memory card that we loaded our file on. We'll see it's called Classic. We're going to load that file. Everybody in the game that existed in the base 2004 game that has a default photo, player photo, um, I went through and I assigned those to all of them. I think there was like 430-ish probably. Um, so they'll have default. Everyone else is no photo, so it's just going to be the default that you see there. Um, and I did this on purpose because photos are a real pain in the ass. Um, to do portraits and for that many people mm, I kind of weighed it so I went this route um, but even so we have the players for the teams for the years which is really the critical piece I think which is going to be the fun part so that said let's back out here uh, back out do a quick game and let's see so all these roster files are original the way that the creators created them from the 2k5 site so whoever whoever's won uh, that I used is just the way that it is. It was just cleaned up and brought together. So you'll see here as you pick your teams, if it just says classic mod, there's no specific year for that team. Um, you'll know that it is just the um, the base GOAT roster by Warpath, um, which is really good. It has a lot of good players too. But if we go like to the Bills and Seahawks, you'll see 2012. So you know that that's the year for them, for this team roster. Same thing with the Bills, 91 through 94, when we had all those great folks, Thurman Thomas, uh, Don Beebe, all those. So if you go through and pick your teams, depending on what the year was and if it was a specific year that I had pulled in that someone asked for, um, you'll see it there. If not, it's just going to be the base GOAT roster file. Um, so that's a good way to tell as you're going through team selection and picking who you want to play. So um, I've been having a lot of fun with this. I scored some touchdowns with Earl Campbell. I've been playing with Barry Sanders. Uh, throwing passes with um, Jim Kelly and other really cool legends of the past. So hopefully you guys get into this, enjoy it, have a good time with it. Um, and as always, thank you. Appreciate the support. Uh, it's it's really everyone's contributions from rosters to the work that um, the team's doing between Rate Sports, Cujo, myself, Flame of Hope, um, Zevin, everyone that's contributed. 
Um, but this is just a fun one-off mod, so hopefully everyone has a good time playing with some of these classic teams.